play you a short clip that was just put out by Paula Flo and folks I'm I need uh, and a child needs your attention your help and sharing and your phone calls to Sheriff Joe uh, Romeo is a child uh, that has been abducted illegally by CPS along with others and who is being physically mentally and sexually abused uh, this is part of the whole CPS system in Arizona. Paula has been fighting this for a long time. She's flown from Hawaii to Arizona to fight this in person for months now. She just led a rally outside of Sheriff Joe's office and uh, there seems to be no attention getting to this. There's children. Uh, this young boy, Romeo, who was a happy young boy, just tried to commit suicide, folks. We, can't, we, we have to stop this. I'm going to play this short two and a half minute video and it's going to fade into the audio of me calling Sheriff Joe, and the number to do so will be below in the link back to Paula's original video. Give, give this a quick view and a thumbs up so that it gets more attention. Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon. You know, uh, today, since we're turning this in, how long approximately does it take before you hand it to a detective and his response? What would be an average turnaround? Mm, that usually we would about hear? a week. It takes seven days when they know a child's being raped and molested to respond? Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's just... So they're not going to do anything in the meantime to put him in some place? Unless I find something that's immediate. Oh, good. Are you going to go into home and check today? We'll see if they give us permission. Oh, the parents? Mm -hmm. You have to get permission to go in? Yeah, we just don't... We can't go in there. Well, just that's how in. they took the kids. And that's, that's exactly what you need to... That's working on your behalf in the first part. Yeah, but we don't... But as a police, that I don't know. That? I don't know what... Uh, Tucson PDs... Yeah. Our policy is that when they go in there and start taking kids, but no, we don't take kids. Oh, yes, you do, because my friend had kids taken by the Phoenix Not, police. They literally broke uh, in her home. Their door is I, even fixed yet. And they I, took, I'm, I'm never going to do I'm that. I'm sure that's not, a, not the right That's not going to be in my policy. No, my I policy. believe you, because I, that's, I believe you that yeah. it was illegal, obviously, yeah, because the parents I'm, weren't doing anything, and the kid is gone, and since has lost all his teeth because they don't brush his teeth. Yeah, okay. So, so, officer, are you saying that when they have been informed that children are being raped and molested, that they actually would wait that long to go in and check on that child? It depends on he where could be I tied up right now. If I'd... Can you get a warrant to go in with this sort of a report? No. So, in other words, this child could be tied up just like the other one in Tucson and being Probably molested. It, it was... He was being tied up? Yes, the six-year-old says okay. that they tie his hands over his head, they tie his feet, they pull his pants down, and they fondle him. They withhold food until he's starving, and then they pour hot sauce all over it, and then they make him eat it and won't give him we'll any water. We'll see when we come up with when we get there. Time. Yeah. One of the boys, uh, just for the record, has already, uh, from what they told the mom, tried to commit suicide. And we tried to commit suicide, and you can see the pictures of him right before he was kidnapped. He did not look suicidal. He looked like a happy boy. And now he's uh, being medicated to death. The psychotropic drugs they're giving kids today are causing suicide. So, yeah, we're campaigning Jerry Shaw Pio to handle uh, his work. There. I'm sure you have so many CPS horror stories. Thank you for calling the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. To quickly route your call to the correct department, please select from the following options or visit our website at www.mcso.org. To report a crime, please press 1. For all inmate and jail information, please call 602-876-0300. Two, two, or press 2 to be connected now. For our mailing address and fax number, please press 3. If you are in possession of court documents that need to be served by a deputy or have questions regarding a civil, non-criminal matter, please press 4. If you are calling for a police report, public records request, 
or a media public records request, please press 5. To speak with someone on the Sheriff's administrative staff, please press 6. Please hold. Good afternoon, Sheriff's Office. This is Lacey. Yes, ma'am. My name is Kevin Allen calling from masterofmanythings.com, an alternative media source. I'm calling to urge Sheriff Joe to look into uh, the CPS abuse and the criminality that is going on in his area. I know that he is aware of the movement um, by Paula Flo, an activist against this abuse, and I'm calling to support that. I am a talk radio host. Paula, Paula has been my guest. The information she has is very credible, and there are children being severely abused, documented proof of such right now. I just watched a two-minute video stating that it takes seven days, even with this amount of um, information, to even possibly think about keeping those children safe, and that is just not, um, that's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. Sir, can I get your first name, please? My name is Kevin. Yes. Allen. A-L-L-A-N. And I'm out alternative media source. Yes, ma'am. And I've been watching this case since last fall, uh, and nothing's being done. And uh, the, ch the children are being sexually and physically mentally abused at the hands of CPS. Uh, this seems to run rampant in your state. And there are children in danger right at this very moment. And the, uh, you need to contact Paula Flo immediately and immediately get the location of those children and keep them safe. I will have you also uh, aware, ma'am, that this call is being recorded and will uh, in moments be released to YouTube for confirmation that you have been contacted by others than just Paula Flo. Um, this needs immediate attention. And now I know Sheriff is Joe is very busy chasing a birth certificate. But I'm sure he has enough evidence now uh, to set that aside to save a child's life. And, and I'm calling on him as an American citizen to do that. Although I do not reside in your community, I still will make this a public issue, and I will take my time to make sure that uh, he addresses this because he is the legal authority here. Okay, sir, can I get your phone number, please? Yes, my phone number is 603 four I'm sorry, you cut out? 603 452-7086. I can also be emailed at Kevin at Master of Many Things dot com. I'm sorry, Kevin? At Master of Many Things, all one word. Master of Many Things, is it plural? Things in plural, yes. Okay. Dot com. Dot com? Yes, ma'am. And let me repeat that number to you really quick. Just make sure I have it written down properly. I have it as 603-452-7086. Yes, ma'am. And then email is Kevin, K-E-V-I-N, at Master of Many Things, with an S at the end, dot com. Yes, ma'am, that's correct. And I do appreciate okay. your time. And thank you, Mr. Allen. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers.